ओके सर एंड आवर ग्रुप में मेरे सुजुनी चौधरी उन्हीं मुखर्जी एंड सुदीप कुंडू इन दिस स्लाइड वी विल डिस्कस व्हाट इज ई पेमेंट ई प्लेम ई पेमेंट आल्सो नोन एज इलेक्ट्रॉनिक पेमेंट एनेबल्स कंज्यूमर्स टू पे गुड्स एंड सर्विसेज ऑनलाइन विदाउट यूजिंग चेक्स और कैश वी कैन यूज ई पेमेंट विद क्रेडिट कार्ड्स डेबिट कार्ड्स और डायरेक्ट बैंक डिपॉजिट्स ई वॉलेट्स एंड क्रिप्टो करेंसीज आर टू एडिशनल अदर पेमेंट मेथड्स इन ऑर्डर टू टेक पेमेंट्स द कंज्यूमर मस्ट हैव अ ई कॉमर्स पेमेंट सिस्टम इन प्लेस इफ ही इंटेंस टू ट्रांसफर हिज बिजनेस ऑनलाइन और ओपन एन ऑनलाइन स्टोर इन दिस स्लाइड वी विल डिस्कस द कॉमन मेथड्स ऑफ ई पेमेंट क्रेडिट और डेबिट कार्ड पेमेंट द कंज्यूमर विल नीड टू प्रोवाइड द कार्ड इंफॉर्मेशन एंड वेट फॉर दर बैंक टू क्लियर द ट्रांसफर द नेक्स्ट ऑप्शन इज ऑनलाइन बैंकिंग और इंटरनेट बैंकिंग इट इज ऑल्सो नोन एज वेब बैंकिंग ऑनलाइन बैंकिंग बेसिकली ऑफर्स कस्टमर ऑलमोस्ट एवरी ट्रेडिशनल सर्विस अवेलेबल थ्रू अ लोकल ब्रांच इंक्लूडिंग डिपॉजिट ट्रांसफर एंड ऑनलाइन बिल पेमेंट्स द नेक्स्ट मेथड इज डायरेक्ट डेबिट इन दिस मेथड द फंड ट्रांसफर फ्रॉम कस्टमर्स अकाउंट विद द हेल्प ऑफ थर्ड पार्टी एंड द नेक्स्ट ऑप्शन इज ई वॉलेट ई वॉलेट और और इलेक्ट्रॉनिक वॉलेट इज अ फॉर्म ऑफ प्रिपेयर अकाउंट वेर कस्टमर्स अकाउंट इन्फॉर्मेशन इज स्टोर्ड इलेक्ट्रॉनिकली एंड द नेक्स्ट ऑप्शन इज स्टोर्ड क्रेडिट कार्ड इट इज ऑल्सो नोन एज गिफ्ट कार्ड इन दिस सिस्टम द कार्ड इज कार्ड हैज प्रिपेयर मॉनिटरी वैल्यू एंड इन दिस स्लाइड वी विल डिस्कस द वर्किंग ऑफ ई पेमेंट देर आर बेसिकली टू मेथड्स ऑफ ई पेमेंट द फर्स्ट वन इज वन टाइम वेंडर This is basically used by uh, e-commerce companies like Spotify, uh, Shopify, Amazon, and Etsy. Uh, in this uh, system, the card holder reaches the store's checkout page and they fill the, their card and banking details. If the information is accurate and they have enough money, their bank will then approve this information. In uh, the other case is recurring customer vendor payments. In this case, uh, the card holder is. paying for if the card holder is paying for uh, some goods or some uh, services on a regular basis instead of entering uh, their card details each time then they can, they can en- enter them once and opt in for a recurring billing option this tends to be used for service uh, subscription based services uh, and paying uh, bills for businesses such as insurance agencies next uh, sujuni will continue yes As my friend has discussed, electronic payment is very user friendly and less time consuming than manual processing. So it helps the organization to expand its market or reach. Uh, the most popular way of e-payment is through cards, and the most uh, popular three cards which are we are using in our daily life are debit card, smart card, and credit card. Next slide. Uh, as we all know, credit card is a small plastic card with a unique number attached with an account. It has a magnetic strip embedded in it, which is used to read credit card via credit card reader. When a customer purchases a product via a credit card, credit card issue, uh, issuer bank pays on behalf of the customer, and customer has a certain time period after which he or she can see the credit card bill. It is usually paid during the credit card monthly payment cycle. Uh, some of the features used, uh, mentioned in a credit card are the credit card holder's name, the merchant, that is the seller of the product, who can access credit card payments, the card issuer bank, that is the card holder's bank, the acquirer acquirer bank, that is the merchant's bank, and the card brand, for example, Visa or Mastercard. Now, a debit card is a small plastic card with a unique number map, just like credit card, but for uh, uh, It also has a bank account number attached to it, uh, and it is it is something which is required to have a bank for having a bank account. And uh, the major difference between a debit card and a credit card is that in case of payment through debit card, the amount gets deducted from the card bank account immediately, and there should be sufficient balance in the bank account for the transaction to get completed. Whereas in case of a credit card transaction, there is no such compulsion. Now we come to the third kind of card, which is a smart card. 
uh, smart card is again similar to a credit card or a debit card in appearance but it has a small microprocessor chip embedded in it. It has the capacity to store customers work related or personal information as well. Smart cards are used to store money and the amount gets deducted after every transaction. And they can only be accessed using a pin that every customer is branded. Next slide. Now what is eCash? eCash was a digital based system that facilitated the transfer of funds anonymously. It was a pioneer in cryptocurrency. Its goal was to secure the privacy of individuals that they use uh, that use the internet for micropayments. As we know, the founder of eCash was Dr. David Storm under his company DigiCash. Uh, DigiCash later became bankrupt and uh, the, uh, the patents reserved with eCash were later sold off but it, is, it was an evolutionary invention because it was the first introduced online version uh, of eCash which was compatible with all online transactions. Not only that, it replaced paper money with a digitally encoded card in the offline version of eCard. Uh, uh, the next uh, slide will be carried on by you. Thank you. Should it be mute yourself, please? So, till now we have discussed about the rules of e payment mechanisms and how it has made us cashless and how smooth our lives has become but not everything comes with only the positive side the negative side that are the threats of e payment mechanism are the fraud it's very famous everywhere we face frauds and the issue with e payment system is fraud basically before making any payment a password is typically needed for any occasion or anything to make that transaction happen but even some some bad guys have figured out a way to get that password or that any pin that we have created ourselves to make that fraud happen. That's why there are various protections that have been provided to prevent this fraud. Next comes impulse purchases. Impulse purchases, this is basically online and the electronic payment techniques encourage impulse spending that is very erratic spending and sudden spending in huge amounts of money because it can only happen when you click to pay with a credit card. Many cards, let that be credit card or e-wallet cards, have one-time payment mechanism in which you just have to tap the card or just click proceed to pay and without using any OTP or any PIN, one can get the money can get deducted. And this is a very easy way to get the money deducted from others' accounts. Next is tax avoidance. Companies have, are required to follow the law to provide copies of the financial records to the government so that they can keep a track of their taxes and taxations that they provide to the government and they provide to their employees or any organization. Electronic payments, however, has entered the tax collecting or attempts because everything is recorded and is transactionally logged. Next comes payment discord. This payment disputes <coughs> uh, usually arise because they are done automatically which leaves room for error. When something is done automatically, this is basically maintained by the computer or any robot or any bot that is sitting on the other side in the server room, which is not manually done. So this is not man this is not supervised at that very moment, but they can be seen when the fraud has already happened. So this is like another way. And this is a very big threat. Next slide. Now since we have talked about the threats, we will talk about the protections. So the first is opt-in and sustain PCI compliance. <coughs> the payment card industry is data security standard. This has a set of rules and guidelines that shield all online merchants and their customers from any fraud or data breaches or privacy breaches or any type of unauthenticated or unauthorized transactions. <coughs> Next comes to recognize any indications of irregular behavior. Usually, unusually very large amounts of order, huge costs, huge purchases from a particular credit card, all of a sudden, huge debited money, suddenly billing and sudden shipping addresses, those are totally different. These are the indications of an irregular behavior. So, to, so if we keep a track of this, we will protect ourselves from fraud. Next comes use set. The full form of set is secure electronic transaction, which is which was a communication protocol standard for the aim of security, securing the credit card transactions. <coughs> it was supported by many companies like Mastercard, Visa, Microsoft, Netscape. Next comes AVS. 
with the use of automatic fraud protection method known as the address verification system selling shops such as those involving online or telephonic purchases are less likely to experience a fraud this is the end of our presentation thank you very good thank you thank you all